Today's episode of the Kama Kitchen comes to you with a story about a woman cooking mahua flowers. Are you cooking mahua flowers? <laughs> I've always wanted to know what real mahua actually tastes like. I've never tried it. But anyway, we don't have mahua flowers. We are instead using this incredibly fabulous mix by Barfecto. It's the mulled wine mix. It's a non-alcoholic mix, but we're using it because it has really incredible flavor. And we're actually going to add it to a summer drink that you're making, which is eventually going to be a cool drink, but we're going to start with cooking it. And as she cooks it, because it's going to take a while, I'm going to tell you this story. So the story comes from the Santal tribe. And this story is from a time when they believe that men's penises were 12 cubits long. So a cubit is from here to here. 12. <laughs> There were 12 cubit long penises, which <laughs> men used to wear wrapped around their waist, huh. and women's vaginas were in their underarm. So there is a woman in her back garden. She's cooking mowa flowers. <laughs> it's very hot work. She's standing under the sun, and she's sweating a lot. So she lifts up her hand to wipe away the sweat, and just at this point, there is a man walking outside on the road. And of course, when she does this, the vagina becomes yeah. visible. And this man's penis, quite on its own, takes off in the direction of this woman. So it actually unwraps itself from his waist. And the poor man is trying to control it and hold it back, but the penis has a mind of its own. So it's headed up over the fence towards this woman, unfortunately, mistakes the distance, knocks her on the head instead. The woman gets a real fright. She turns around to see what's happening. She, and she's so angry, she picks up her kerchief, her ladle, and she whacks the penis. The poor man outside screams in pain and he drags his penis back and he makes a run for it. But because he's crying in pain, he doesn't really see where he's going. He tramples over 12 little mice. The mice community are absolutely furious because this has happened far too often. So they go off to see Chondo. Chondo is the um, creator god. And they say, this penis has created far too much trouble. You need to make it shorter. And Chondo says, but we can't, you know, we've promised the men 12 cubits of penis and we can't go back on our word. One wise old mouse comes up with an idea and he says, well, how about we make it 12 mice cubits long? Because we haven't said that it has to be human cubits. So it could be 12 mouse cubits. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> and Jondo says, yes, that works. And that's the point that the male penis was cut down to the size that it is today. And at the same time, apparently the women say to Chondo, can we also move our vagina please? Because this is very inconvenient to have it in the underarm. And so women's vaginas were moved to between their legs and all was well after that, or at least all was better after that. Now that I've got my mahua base mix ready, I'm going to combine some juices and fruits and berries to make a really exotic drink. I'm going to add some orange juice, cranberry juice, some of these lovely tangy citrusy oranges and lime. Just give that burst of energy and flavors. I've got a medley of fruits. I've got lime juice here. Add some sparkling water, put a lot of crushed ice, chopped ice, put it in the fridge to cool and enjoy the modern day mahua drink. You know, the secret to a good bar is you have drinks that taste really good, you have really good company, and always have a fabulous story to tell with it.